Welcome, welcome, Luminary, to another episode of Star Powered Podcast. And today I want to share everything that's happening in the sky in the month of June so that you can up level your voice in your change making work. Welcome to Star Powered Astrology for Change Makers. I'm Leslie Tagorda, your guide, a Hawaii born Filipino Jewish astrologer who loves navigating visionaries like you through the spiritual journey of your work so that you can be inspired to lead by your chart and become the luminary leader you were born to be. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it's already June? Is it just me or things like just absolutely flying? Oh, and is it just me or is everybody else like me just completely over capacity? Oh my goodness. I have definitely not been taking my own medicine as of late. Um, and, you know, with all of my Aquarius, my, my sun Jupiter conjunction and my Sagittarius moon, all of my Jupiter is coming to like really bite me in the ass because I have overcommitted and bit off way more than I can chew. But you know what? lesson learned. I'm here. I'm human. And oh my goodness. Well, you know, the last few weeks have been so crazy busy and there's, I'm just sharing just in just a sense of exasperation. A couple of weeks ago, I found myself in Maryland where I got to um, perform with my quintet. We've been coming back from tour for my musical ensemble called Quinteto Latino. And of course, in my music ensemble, like I do these very niche things, the very out of the ordinary things are woodwind quintet. We play classical music written by Latino composers, Latinx um, identifying composers. And we flew out for one day of concerts we had two concerts on one day like these like super short intense like marathon of like mind body spirit and then we had to do it twice I was like oh my goodness not prepared so we had one day of travel rehearsal concerts and then flew right back and I don't know how people do it I have so many friends that travel for work and it like just absolutely floored me and on top of that in my beautiful membership, my group Star Powered Circle, um, we have begun our um, intensive for quarter two called Star Powered Voice after wrapping up a challenge that got us ready to face our fears called Move Your Mountain. And I'm going to share just a little bit about that challenge because it's just been just so heart opening to see everybody do their am amazing work. And then Jeff and I have been just crazy putting together our retreat landing page and um, so that we can um, really announce that to the world, as well as the Astro Brown certification page on top of like um, designing this curriculum. I'm like, wait, what did I do to myself? Oi. <laughs> And so I wonder if anybody also feels kind of out of capacity. And not only on top of that, as you know, thinking about our celestial cycles, I'm still in a 12th house <laughs> sun season. And so absolutely working against myself and this self sabotage. But you know what, I can only laugh and I can only remind myself to not do this again. And my, my team, Jamira, Jeff, Laura, um, Megan, <laughs> you hear me and you hear this just be like Leslie are you sure you want to do that again you know what I'm gonna need the reminder <clears throat> well before we get into the June forecast about up leveling your voice I just wanted to share some of the things that we've been happening in star powered circle because it's just been such a beautiful community and group to witness um so we over in quarter two so how I have the star powered circle um, organize is that each quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, we have one um, intensive four week training. And this four week training that we are delivering right now in um, this last month of quarter two, it's called Star Powered Voice. And I thought, what a wonderful time to, you know, explore Gemini season in finding our brand personality, our brand vibe, and putting together our brand voice. Everything from greetings and salutations to our brand pillars, to our brand messaging, um, like our unique value proposition and our purpose, all the way to our brand stories. And it's been absolutely wonderful. But 
I also know how writing and sharing our thoughts and sharing our opinions and taking up space to express our needs is absolutely frightening. <laughs> it takes a ton of courage to take up that space, to ask for what you want, to share your wisdom, to be able to shout on the top of the rooftops your expertise, especially for women entrepreneurs, especially for marginalized entrepreneurs, because naturally we've been taught this entire time that our voice and our thoughts don't matter, don't have any value. Or as spiritual entrepreneurs, maybe we've been oppressed and so really afraid to talk about what we do for fear of judgment. And, you know, there are way worse things that people have been persecuted for by simply sharing and sharing a thought. So I absolutely knew that in my community, that as we are getting ready for Star Powered Voice, it was going to bring up a ton of fear. And thankfully in astrology and thankful thankfully for knowing you know like spiritual practice of like inner awakening fear is a very important um tool to self-protect and if we allow ourselves to only be dictated by fear and motivated by fear, it doesn't put us along our highest path. And so one of the things that I cooked up for our group um, back at our eclipse season um, was what, what I called the from stuck to unstoppable challenge. And in that challenge, all of us had to commit to one mountain, something that was important that we knew that we needed to do that that easily got put um, back into the back burner because we were too afraid to do it or made excuses to do it or you know just never made the time to do it but it was that one thing in our work that we really needed to move that mountain and so it was so wonderful to get everybody to commit based on everything that we learned from that past eclipse season, that Aries eclipse, the Scorpio eclipse, the Mercury retrograde, that really brought to surface so much of our fear. Um, so over six weeks, I um, we had four different group leaders who stepped up to the plate to help lead all of um, different accountability groups in Star Powered Circle, and we divided everybody up by their moon signs. And it was so beautiful to watch everybody grouped by their moon signs, simply because when you're grouped with other air moons, all of these air moons are want their own sovereignty and their independence. All of the water moons want to feel safety, like they have a routine. All of the earth moons want to be like practical and go get it. And all the fire moons want to just like express their passion. And so all of them really knew each other at this like core level. And we're really able to support and hold accountable each other in their own special way. And so I witnessed, you know, not only those moon leaders like stepping up to the plate and taking initiative and bringing people together that they didn't know so well, but I saw them really step into their own star power and share um, their wisdom and bring people together in their own ways. Like I was just like, wow, look at how they're doing this. It was so amazing to watch. And then individually watching people um, pick things like complete their nurture sequence or um, reach out to a different, um, a different kind of partnership that they wanted to, or for even some people like find, finding new friends and working on things in their personal lives that were really holding them back in their business. And every person got what they needed out of this, even if we didn't accomplish the goal that we set out to do. And one of the reasons, well, remember that last new moon that we had in um, uh, our Gemini new moon that had that crazy <laughs> um, T-square with Mars and Pluto opposing and then Jupiter holding court? Well, it was interesting because, you know, we all planted our seeds that we wanted to or, or put a flag in the ground that we were going to aim for this one particular um, goal. And then life is like, oh, no, remember that, you know, this is the last week of school and your son needs all of these things or, oh, no, like your friends need these things or like family matters and all of these different matters that we had to then you know, be flexible and accommodating and move to. And so maybe even if we didn't accomplish fully 
our initial goal, we still made the progress that we needed to make. And to me, that is an accomplishment. It is not a failure. And one, that's one of the reasons, specific reasons why I'm really like, yes, we can have these goals, but I don't want us to be so how do you say, I don't want us to be so reliant on the absolute outcome, that perfected outcome, because you know what? We don't have control <laughs> over the things that life hands us oftentimes. So how can we create that flexibility in our lives and know that sometimes other things just take priority and it's not always about business. Now, yes, there is business to be had, just like how um, I've been kind of over, uh, I overcommitted myself with creating all of the things. And so this morning I've been sending out emails to clients that I haven't been able to yet um, complete the things that I've had to do for them and you know finding myself with uh with people saying I want to schedule like an astrobound session but your calendar is completely full yes that's just where I am at right now and <laughs> thank you everybody for your patience um you know it's just part of life and I'm not beating myself up for it and I hope that when you find yourself in those situations that you don't beat yourself up for it also so let's get into the June um Starcast all right so this June I'm calling it up level your voice and to me the energy of this month is really kind of changing like there's winds of change coming there's a lot of energy that we can scatter and center so that we can become focused there's a lot of messages that want to be channeled through us there's a lot of loving emotional security that wants to come through this month and so in june this is a month to do more with less say more without necessarily speaking too much, work smarter, not harder, rest to energize. It's a time to optimize and maximize by streamlining, streamlining, a time to communicate with more impact and oomph. Your message, your voice, your needs are here to be understood, not just through words, but through your actions, through your thoughts and your beliefs, through your feelings, and through those loving vibrations you radiate out from within. Speaking and thinking well of yourself is the single most simple and powerful act that will make the biggest impact in all facets of your life and work. It's a good thing that at the very top of the month, we have our full moon in Sagittarius that's really going to help us face, um, face all of those limiting self-beliefs and judgments that and narratives that we put on ourselves that prevent us from speaking our truth. And so there's going to be a whole nother episode shortly after this episode, just on that full moon. And guess what? It's going to be another episode with that amazing Natalie Miller. We recorded that a few weeks ago. And so I'll be releasing our, um, our portion there in a, um, probably tomorrow, probably the day after this. So, you know, this is just how it's working. <laughs> Consistency, not one of my strengths. This is a month in June where the winds of change are here because of outer planet retrogrades and Mercury at their top speed, just buzzing about and cross pollinating new ideas and ideals. This month, we see Pluto, who is now in retrograde, re entering Capricorn. So if you happen to be one of these lucky Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Aries, or um, Libra owners of a 29th degree <laughs> planet, um, I know there's a lot of listeners here with those Cancer 29 degree planets and those, um, and those Aries of 29 degree planets. If you've been going through some rough and tumble times, these themes that you have been experiencing over the last six months are certain to come back with Pluto recrossing that place in your chart. And, you know, whatever that theme of transformation, do know that that if you've been feeling any discomfort or pain or empowerment 
from those, those themes will come back and, you know, don't fall underneath the weight of that, but know that this is that second passing of that lesson that you're really meant to empower and bring through to cultivate trust in yourself to, and for all of us to break down our inner oppressor that still has you working outside of your values and capacity. Oh, hello, Leslie. Are you taking your own medicine? <laughs> no, <laughs> it isn't about doing more. It's absolutely about doing less and having more impact. Did you know that when I write these star casts, <laughs> I'm really writing them for myself <laughs> and hoping that they, I'm laughing just because like I wrote this a while ago and I'm like, oh, I needed that medicine. So maybe you need that medicine too. So that was Pluto re-entering Capricorn. And then we have both Saturn and Neptune in this month going from direct to reverse. And they're happening within like a couple of weeks apart. So we're not necessarily going to feel those two energies integrated. But we have our Saturn um, still in Pisces. It's going to shift gears to go in reverse to refine and restructure your spiritual and intuitive strategies in your work. Remember, if Saturn's process is to create structure, to prioritize, to find your mastery, when Saturn is in reverse, we get to reshift and recalibrate so that we can refine, recrystallize, restructure, and reprioritize all of our intuitive strategies. This isn't about working harder again. It's about working easier and in more flow to gain more results. Okay, Pluto, we gotcha. Saturn, we gotcha. Now let's hear about a little bit about Neptune. So lastly, we have Neptune also in Pisces who will be shifting gears to also go reverse, which allows us to soften empathize and be the vessel for spirit's creation. This isn't about manifesting your ego's desires. It's about manifesting your highest self's desires. It feels so beautiful with this Neptune in Pisces and, and also uh, Saturn in Pisces and really becoming the channel to spirit. So in this month of June, may you find your voice to be heard and understood for your highest good. So let's talk about some of these dates and then I'll point out some of like some of like the most significant bits. These are actually these significant dates that you want to pop into your calendar. And if you're already a subscriber to my newsletter, um, you've already gotten this in your Starcast, so you can go ahead and mark these on your calendar. And if you follow me on Instagram at bstarpowered, you will also find um, there's a post there that has a lovely calendar with some of these dates. So you know, if you're driving or walking around um, and want to remember this later, just head on over to your email. Um, and get on my Starcast or then go over to Be Star Powered on Instagram. So June, we have our two lunations. First off, we have that full moon in Sagittarius at 13 degrees that happens on Saturday, June 3rd. And then we have that new moon in Gemini, 17 degrees on June 17th. And so we have these two lunations, Sagittarius and Gemini, ideals, judgments, purpose, vision, exploration. That's the, that, that Sagittarius and then Gemini, your voice, your teaching, your communications, your thoughts, your ideas. And so we are definitely in that season of getting clear on our ideas and our ideals and how they need to work together. And then in June, we have Venus entering the sunny sign of Leo on June 5th. And let me just say, Venus, who usually spends like anywhere from four to six weeks in a sign, um, is going to be spending a whole lot of time in Leo because we have an upcoming um, Venus, a very rare Venus retrograde. So Venus is that one planet that goes retrograde the least and Venus will be hanging out in Leo all the way through October 8th. So with Venus going through Leo, um, we'll have that rare Venus retrograde at the end of July. And it's going to be a beautiful time for a star powered summer to reconnect to your inner sense of attraction, joy and love with Venus in Leo. Um, you know, Venus 
I just I love Venus in Leo <laughs> I feel like she's so amazing and she's like dressed to the nines she's ready to party she has all her cute clothes on and like all dressed up in all her gold and her bling I absolutely love Venus in Leo so I'm glad that she gets to spend an extended stay an extended vacation in Leo so that Pluto retrograde that I was talking about, um, that enter re-enters Capricorn, that's happening on June 11th, along with Mercury entering Gemini on June 11th. So that's one of these days that I really want you to mark on your calendar. The days leading up to June 11th are going to feel... Um, like a lot of things are changing all at once and like, which way do you go? So we have a lot of cosmic events that are culminating on that day. Again, Pluto re-entering Capricorn um, in reverse, Mercury entering Gemini, but we'll also be having Venus squaring Jupiter and the two benevolence in the sky squaring off with each other adds a little bit of um, lucky chances, I would say. So there is there is some positivity, some lightness there. And then also right at as Mercury and um, Mercury and Pluto, right before Pluto moves into Capricorn, it's still going to be in Aquarius, and then Mercury will then move into Gemini. And at that time, essentially, they will be either an in element or an out of element trine. So that day, your words, your actions have a lot of impact. And there's a few chances, there's some lucky chances with that Venus. Um, Venus squaring Jupiter. It's going to be one of those big energetic days. Um, and we'll probably be feeling this at least from like June 8th all the way through the 11th. All right. Then that Saturn retrograde that I was talking about, that begins on June 17th. Saturn will be going back to all the way back to Pisces of zero degrees. It's not going to go back into Aquarius um, during the four and a half month retrograde period. So Saturn will just be kind of crossing that area back and forth between Pisces of seven degrees back to zero degrees um, while it's doing its retrograde. Then, of course, we have our solstice when the sun enters Cancer on June 21st. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we get our summer solstice, our longest and brightest day. And those of us in the Southern Hemisphere, we welcome in winter, our shortest and day with most night. And then on June 26th, just a few days after, or just a few weeks after June 11th, so this is very, very, very quick, barely two weeks, then Mercury enters Cancer. So Mercury is really at its fastest speed right now. It's chugging along, going through the zodiac about two degrees a day. And so Mercury is splashed into Cancer on June 26th. So you know, really, if you're doing right, anything writing or marketing or, you know, coming up with your message, and this is one of the reasons why I designed um, Star Powered Voice in, um, in the circle to be at this time is that Mercury in Gemini, you know, it's its home sign, it loves being in Gemini, its thoughts are crystal clear, and its thoughts are moving quickly. So this is a great time to get caught up on all those writing um, projects. So clients, if you're waiting for me on writing projects, <laughs> <laughs> probably expect to hear from me then. And then lastly, that Neptune retrograde at the end of the month on June 30th, Neptune retrograde begins at Pisces of 27 degrees. Um, that starts on June 30th. And that's about a five to five and a half month retrograde period. All right, my friends. So that's kind of the highlights of everything that's going on in June be like for sure be sure to expect um that Sagittarius full moon episode that'll be coming out probably within the next day or so I'll share more about that Venus enter um Venus entering Leo and that Venus retrograde when we get closer to that and I'm sure that I'll be sharing more of our Saturn processes so maybe we'll get that new Saturn processes episode out for you. And I'll, and I'll talk a little bit about that Saturn retrograde along with Saturn's purpose in our life and our work. And I love hearing from you. So if you have any comments or have any questions, catch me in my free Facebook group, Star Powered Podcast, and feel free to strike up a conversation with me and ask your questions. I'll be happy to answer them here on this podcast couple of things before I let you go. Um, 
we have my retreat that is coming up in October. That page is not yet live. So if you still wanted to get on that wait list, head on over to starpower.com forward slash retreat. Then I'll be opening the doors to my, my biggest community, my biggest container, Star Powered Circle for quarter three, where we'll be doing Star Powered Style. Everything about your, your visual identity and all of the IP and your processes that really allow you to make your mark. So that class is coming up in quarter three. So doors will be open right around solstice for just a few days. So if you want to get on the wait list for that, please head on over to Star starpower.com forward slash circle. And of course, the last thing, um, certification is coming right up, mentorship and curriculum, and we get started in August. So if you are interested in that certification and using the Astro Brand method with your clients, then head on over to starpower.com forward slash certification and get on that wait list. I know there's so many things. I don't like to usually give you that many, um, <laughs> that many ideals, but hopefully there's something for all of us here and that something catches your fancy. So thanks again for listening to this June StarCast. Let me know your thoughts. I love to hear from you. Till soon. As a human design projector, my energy shines more brightly because of people like you who share my work. If you enjoy this podcast and want to help build a movement of innovative astrology and leadership and spark the intuitive revolution, please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts, or better yet, share this podcast with your change-making besties. We will all shine brighter together as we create the future we want to see.